Hey guys, Crew Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Calvin, Game of Thrones. Again. Yes, last episode, Calvin. Long live the king. Long live the king. <laughs> uh, let's talk about it. The Purple Wedding as we know it the now, right? The Purple Wedding. So we got to see the good King Joffrey die. Yeah. Smart. I always said I liked him. Yeah. You, you did. For like a two episodes you did. And <laughs> two then, episodes. And then you got to know him. Yeah. And now you've seen him die. Yeah. And he died in a very mysterious way. Now Calvin has, Calvin, Detective Calvin has some theories. Calvin, what's, who are your suspects? Shit. Maybe Littlefinger too. This is chaotic. Could be him. It is Son chaotic. of a bitch. Yeah, maybe. Hate that, man. <laughs> Although I would shake his hand any day if you're doing that. <laughs> That's funny. If there is a conspiracy and you have to n blame three people, who would it be? Probably Varys, Littlefinger, and Lady Elena. Those would be Ooh. my three. Not in that order. Varys and Littlefinger working together. Varys has the connections, and he would see it as the good for the realm. Okay. Littlefinger would see it as opportunity. True. A ladder. Have a gut feeling about Lady Alana. Okay, all right. Like it wouldn't be best for her family because Marjorie yeah. would no longer be queen since Joffrey's they haven't dead. consummated yeah. the marriage yep. and everything. It wouldn't be good for her family, but in the long run, it would be good for Marjorie. Yep. Could be because the Lannisters and the kingdom is so in debt. The Iron Bank did something about Ooh, it. Ooh, the Iron Bank is involved with the the deaths. Interesting, because we did learn a lot about the Iron Bank. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, and it's no spoiler to say that we'll definitely be learning more. Um, I guess it kind of is, but who gives a shit? <laughs> I mean, we hear so much about it. I yeah, would we have heard about it. Yeah. We would deal with it at some point since we've dealt with every other yeah. free nation mm -hmm. and free city and everything in yeah. the known world. Exactly. At the end of the last episode and sparked by our watching of the Honest Trailer, Calvin, you were talking about those three letters. Yes. The, um... J, L, and R. In a you always say them out of order, just I, to I try to know. confuse me. I, what What's the order? R plus L equals J. So you've heard those letters, the three letters in a math equation that I had no interest in telling you about. Okay? <laughs> and the only thing I said is that it's a very popular fan theory. Um, Not fan fact or... Some people would say it's so certain it must be a fact. Um, and... Game of Thrones, the television show, has very much so seeded this the evidence yeah. very well, very hidden very well, except for the people that know of the theory, in which case it's glaringly obvious. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, I honest, honestly, I... this is a theory that, I mean, it's one of the oldest ones and the most popular, but it's not one that I picked up on my first read through. I had, you know, after I read all the books and I was going around looking, well, what do you think's going to happen next? And I found this theory, and I'm like, okay, well, that's 100% true, you know? Yeah. So I have chosen not to tell you. Okay. Um, and just pay attention to just things people say. I've you been paying attention so closely to everything everyone says. You have been doing it's that. It's painful. It's almost. very painful, but it's <laughs> so fun to watch. <laughs> it's so fun to watch. Um, we've been talking a lot, so we're going to go ahead and just cut it short and just watch this episode. Yeah. Want to do that? Let's do it. Sure. <laughs> He looks like he's got a plan. Does he? He's a, he's a man with a plan. Yeah. Oh, he's got a plan. He's got a plan. He's got a plan, Eric. So he was clearly involved. He knew this was going to happen. Sails are taken up. That better not be Littlefinger's boat. I'm going to be pissed. Now I have one. I want ten. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker! I knew it! I must be cursed. Nonsense. Your circumstances have improved markedly. You did wonderful work on Joffrey. The next one should be easier. Ah. Uh, poor Tommen. Kind of lucky Tommen. Well, lucky Tommen. <laughs> you see, Marjorie? <laughs> wisdom is what makes a good king. Yes. But what is wisdom? Hmm? Good judgment. Tywin wasted no time getting his hooks in, did he? Mm-hmm. Wish he was my teacher. <laughs> right? He, he could teach me anything. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> That's what he just did. I know. Clearly. 
Kon, Kon, Kon. <laughs> What's worse? Incest? Sex in a church? Next to your dead son. Next to your dead son? Where are we? Yeah. I'd like to see Bravos one day. Where Bravos? I have friends there. Ooh. It's a real one. We asked the warrior to give us courage in these days of strife. <sighs> They're getting really antsy. <laughs> and keep it from the clutches of depravity. We got to do all seven of the fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> She's not slowing down either, though. They're really hungry. Spilling more than they eat. I know. I hate that. It's, it's quaffing. Really good. Her eyes are watering. <laughs> That's funny. Chicken. What did you do? Get your horse saddle. He's weak. He can't protect himself. They'll both be dead come winter. Dead men don't need silver. Plenty worse than me. I just understand the way things are. How many stars they got to behead before you figure it out? Low blow. Why'd you worry about it? A woman there. Mm -hmm. A lot of rapers. One woman. They've got other things to think about. A hundred men? That's the only say? thing they think about. Yeah. John said a thousand. Yeah. There's a hundred men lying awake at night picturing you. What about you? Ninety-nine. <laughs> Stennis. Soldiers win wars. Soldiers on the ground. It's dirty on the ground. We don't have any gold. Not yet. You were a pirate once. No, I was never a pirate. I was a smuggler. What's the difference? Well, if you're a famous smuggler, you're not doing it right. <laughs> My father says a criminal's a criminal. One was got beheaded by a first sword of Bravos. I suppose if you work for the Iron Bank of Bravos, and each one of your gold barges is worth half a kingdom, you tend not to be overly concerned with the kind of distinction. Who owes the Iron Bank? Hmm. Hmm. I need to get her attention. Go. Oh. Right. <laughs> right. He's <laughs> <laughs> got an idea. He's got a nine-year-old writing these <laughs> letters to the bank. Yeah. <laughs> so you made the Tyrell girl a queen. Asking me to judge at your son's trial isn't quite as tempting. I will also invite you to sit on the small council to serve as one of the new king's principal advisors. A wildling army marches on the wall, and in the east, a Targaryen girl has three dragons. Before long, she will turn her eyes to Westeros. Only the Dornish managed to resist Aegon Targaryen and his dragons. Time I'm thinking ahead. You help me serve justice to the king's assassins, and I will help you serve justice to Elliot's. Not often the hand of the king offers his hand. I would like to think, if I were arranging a royal assassination, I'd plan it in such a way that I wouldn't be standing there gawking like a fool when the king died. <laughs> <laughs> Get yourself out of King's Landing before it's too late. Pond! This is farewell. Potatoes. Well, no one boils a potato better than your mum. She got me. Thins. She killed his dad. I'm going to eat them. Do you hear me? I'm going to eat your dead mama. And I'm going to eat your dead papa. Go tell the crows at Castle Black. The one on the now. The wildlings breach the wall. They'll roll over everything and everyone for a thousand miles before they reach an army that can stop them. We need to shore up Castle Black. And we need to defend the wall. Bring the 
One. That's the worst order. Justice can wait. It's not about justice. I told the wildlings we had over a thousand men at Castle Black alone. Carl and the others know the truth as well as we do. How long do you think they'll keep that information to themselves when the wildlings are peeling their fingernails off? And even if every one of us kills a hundred wildlings, there's still not a thing we can do to stop them. I don't think I can kill a hundred wildlings. <laughs> <laughs> Is his name Pip? Yeah, I think so. Ooh. That's a city. Yeah. Marine. A single rider. A champion of Marine. They want you to send your own champion against them. Barrison? God, I hope. <laughs> you hope? <laughs> I have something to say to the people of Marine. First, I will need this one to be quiet. I've won more single combat than any man alive. Any man Why, alive. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I've been by your side longer than any of them, Khaleesi. Let me stand for you today as well. You're my most trusted advisor. My most valued... Send the, the pretty Who's boy. Who's the most expendable? expendable. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> the way I made it better was speaking in High Valeria. Right? <laughs> Namimitas! Get the Emperor. It's the collars of all the freed slaves. They're in trouble. You can see it in that guy's face. Yeah. He's like, uh, he sees it. <laughs> it's like, this could be you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love Danny's war thing. Ah! Yeah. So amazing. All right. Anyway, good ending, right? Shit. I mean, Danny. Well, I love all one, the so. other characters. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But I wish Game of Thrones was just Danny and her war march the entire <laughs> just her war the, march. the entire time. Just because it's so badass. Just speaking Valerian, just the <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah, that was um, so great. What a really good episode because we had so much with the fallout, the purple wedding. We have John and and the terror of a thou hundred thousand men coming, and they have a hundred. Yeah, don't get me wrong. They have a big wall, but. A hundred men 100 against a hundred yeah. thousand. Yes. Uh, and there was Arya and the Hound story was good and sad. Yeah. Good episode. So, uh, Littlefinger. We now know that he's definitely involved, right? Mm -hmm. And he was one of your three conspirators, right? Do you uh, have any changes you want to make? He bought the necklace. He would have had to have given it to Sir Dantos. Yeah. Dantos obviously lied. Yeah. About it being his family's thing. So what was the importance of Sansa having that necklace for the wedding? Mm hmm Other than... It being able to be something smuggled in and be close. Yeah. And perhaps carrying something. Yeah. We did get a little scene with Marjorie and Lady Olena. Yeah. Do you, How do you feel about what's going on with that? Lady Olena seems like she loves her granddaughter more than she would seeing her granddaughter on the throne. Yeah. Okay. So well, I mean, we I, did... I think she still could very well be involved. Yeah. 
but I mean, we did I, we did hear that you know she'll just have to do better with the next one. Yeah, which implies that her and Tommen for Tommen it might work out for yeah. I, I mean, mean, maybe it won't. Marjorie. Though. Well, Marjorie, yes, but maybe it won't work out for Tommen because it's seemingly every man that she marries. Before I mean, they consummate. She she did say, maybe I'm just cursed. <laughs> maybe I'm just cursed. Yep. Um, yeah, I did write down Tywin didn't waste any time at all getting Tom under his wing. Yeah. He, I don't think he's going to give Cersei a chance. Would you? No. <laughs> the bitch! I wouldn't. Now, Tommen and Marcella, Cersei has said before in the show, like, they're sweet kids. They would be great. Something's wrong with Joffrey, you know? Yeah. So, it... Is better that I mean, Tommen is now. Thing that the kid. That it still bothers me. I I know he probably wouldn't do it, but Tywin, Tywin seems like this is for the best. Is it the best for his family? That's the most important. Is it the best for his legacy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because Joffrey would have been a terrible. He was a terrible king. Yeah. He would have been a horrible, horrible he husband. Was. Yes. And a horrible be. ruler. He absolutely. If he had all be. the power, he would be. Just as bad or worse than uh, Targaryen. Yeah, What's Ares. His name? Ares the Targaryen. Mad King. The Targaryens practice incest. Jamie and Cersei practice incest. I don't think it's a coincidence that no. half of them go crazy. I did write a couple things. The one big thing, Calvin, that when this came out was the quote unquote rape scene. Yeah. In this episode. It is, we do need to point out in the book, it's much more like she's resistant at first, but then it's very consensual at yeah. that point. It's just, it's disturbing in the sense of like they're next to their dead son. Dead son. Yeah. In the show, they made a couple of choices to make it seem like Jamie was much more uh, forceful. And Cersei, even though in the beginning she's like making out with him and stuff, and then she's like, no, this isn't the right place. And then he, and he just does it anyway, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, the producers and the writers have come out and the director have come out and said, like, look, we meant for it to be like not rape, <laughs> you know, yeah. like she was just in at first and then he's an idiot and then eventually just, you know, they haven't been together for so long. It just happens. And it's supposed to be disturbing because they're in a church next to a son. Yeah. But the Internet and Tumblr and feminists everybody, and everybody and, oh went absolutely crazy. I it was imagine. the worst thing ever. I just... I mean, we see beheadings. We see this, the the, so the was, red wedding, was, the most terrible it was shit. That specific scene that was the that thing drove oh. the fem that drove the feminists nuts. Yeah, but they didn't mind Daenerys getting sold by her brother and then raped, pretty much. Yeah, by Karl Drogo. It's just one of those things where people can latch on to and yeah. and win social bratty points. Don't get me wrong, rape is a terrible thing. But, yeah, we're not saying that yeah. rape is is okay yeah. and that no one should feel bad about. Yes. But the scene, this but... is a this is a fictional scene between fictional characters that and practice, they made a creative decision that practice incest. Yes, and by and the way, she's terrible. <laughs> she's terrible the person. bitch. Terrible person. Do oh, I say that? Terrible. I won't say that means that people deserve to be raped. They certainly no. do not. But but. But it's not too terrible. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to point that out because that was like one of those big stickling points yeah. that I was always I, confused by. I'm like, guys, I it's heard a, show. a while ago, like, oh, there's yeah. rape scenes and stuff in Game yeah. of Thrones. Don't watch that. So I never knew what it was until. Honestly, I mean, I could take. I was it expecting leave it, or... the rape scene for Game of Thrones to be much worse than that. Yes. Quite honestly, I yeah. expected it to be like. I, I mean, don't know. We've heard Ramsey of... and Reek, yeah. or something. I mean, honestly, we've heard of a much worse rape scene in this very season so far. A. M. Mar A. Elia Elia A. M. Martell, the the Red Viper's sister, yeah, was raped and murdered by Gregor Clegane, the Mountain. He's a big man. He's got a big dick. Probably, he <laughs> killed her children and then raped and killed her. Yeah, he raped I her. Think, I think and in that order. In, I'm sure yeah. it would be, like uh, yeah. from what's his name? I can't remember. Oberyn Martell. Oberyn Martell. From what he was saying, he the mountain cut her in half. Yeah, with his great sword. Yes. And knowing the mountain, 
Gregor Clegane and the Clegane Legacy. Uh-huh. He probably split her this way, not this way. <laughs> we'll have to see. Um, probably did both. Uh, uh, now, we did get a little bit of a cool scene with Tywin and, and Oberyn. Yeah. Uh, arranging a meeting. Yes. They said. And I don't, and the, the Viper said, like, I don't think he would enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. So I'll have to see what's going on with that. He's um, a master of poison. I mean. Yeah, he is. Poison is, they always say poison is a woman's weapon, but he's a snake. Yeah. It's venom. Poison is, has been called a coward's weapon, yeah. but in all actuality, it's, it's a more efficient tool to it do is. the same job. I mean. It's like, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Yeah. Well, don't bring. Uh, a dagger to a poison fight. Sure. And know. in a world like this, when you have blades and knives and arrows and stuff like that, if you get cut, it can be pretty life-threatening. But if you get cut with a blade with poison on it... And you don't you know what most, kind of you poison You are almost is, definitely going to die. You are, you are so screwed. I mean, he studied at the Citadel, which is like a... It's like where all the ma- the Meisters study. Yeah. Right? He He's Meister-level poison. He's, yeah. he's level 99 poison. Yep. So we'll have, yes, he is. We'll have to remember that as we go by. Um, last thing I really got, Calvin, was uh, I've never caught this before, but Davos, Sir Davos, said that he's dealt with some pirates, right? Yeah. He's also said that he fought, or he was almost beheaded by, by the, the, sir, the, the first the first sword of Bravos. Yeah. Now we know. I mean, it's a title. It's not necessarily one person, but right. We do know of a first sort of Bravos. Sirio Pharrell was the first yes. sort of Bravos. Wouldn't it be cool to learn that, that Sirio Pharrell almost Cereal cut Pharrell. off his head and they fought at one point? That would be amazing. That would be amazing. I, I never caught that before, but I always thought, like, well, that would be cool. I was thinking. Yes. Valyrian steel is just regular steel that's been tempered by dragon's flame right? um or is we it... don't know exactly i mean there are theories that it involves some kind of like magic it's the or way you... whether we have a huge <coughs> pile of valyrian steel sitting right in plain view and nobody wants to melt it down because they oh. all want it how many how many valyrian steel swords are in this you're saying it's 300 good, it's a good by theory. the little fingers count 200 i think 200 right? I, it's a good theory i mean there could be some I mean, Valyrian, the Black Dread, did this. Yeah. Right? And they molded it there, so he could certainly melt Valyrian steel. Yeah. Uh, Valyrian steel is, I believe it's made in the smelting process, and then you can work the metal. Okay. Um, But it's not a bad idea. Is there any Valyrian steel in here? And if so... I mean... It might be a place... To, it might be useful. Yeah. Might, uh, might try looking for that. Maybe the way to save the kingdom is to destroy the Iron Throne. Well, that's what I was thinking, you know? The, the one thing that everybody's been fighting so hard for, and they have yeah. to melt it down just to stay alive. Yep. Littlefinger would never That'd do be great. that. He would never do he that. He would never do that. In the words of Lord Varys... He would see this country burn if he could be king of the ashes. Yes. Yeah. All right. That's a good place to end. Yeah. All right, guys. Stay Sunday. This is the last episode this week, so make sure you're coming back next weekend, Saturday... For episode four already. Yeah. Wow, man. Four. We're flying through. Four X four. Pretty soon we're gonna be all caught up. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy. All right, so make sure you guys are going down to the description box to see all of our links to our social media. You can go to blindwave.net. For all that and more, you can hit the subscribe button and the like button, and you can come back next weekend. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Calvin! Button. What? Uh, no Calvin! Uh, no! Uh,